Did you know that Nepal is the only country in the world with a non-rectangular flag? An intriguing fact about this Himalayan nation that sets the tone for the richness and diversity of its culture. Nestled between the colossal Indian and Chinese territories, Nepal boasts a unique blend of cultural influences. The Nepalese flag, a vibrant combination of crimson red and royal blue, is not your typical rectangular banner. Instead, it consists of two pennants stacked on top of each other, each carrying profound symbolism. The upper pennant represents Hinduism, the largest religion in Nepal, while the lower one symbolizes Buddhism, another significant faith in the country. Both pennants are adorned with celestial bodies, the sun and the crescent moon, embodying the nation's resilience and longevity. This unique flag is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the rich and diverse Nepalese culture. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover a myriad of traditions, rituals, festivals, and much more that make Nepal truly captivating. A Nepalese culture can be traced back to the 4th century, with deep roots in the ancient traditions and rituals, a rich tapestry interwoven with the threads of history, spirituality, and the indomitable spirit of its people. One of the most intriguing of these ancient traditions is the unique Kumari tradition. This centuries-old ritual involves the worship of a prepubescent girl as a living goddess, known as the Kumari. Chosen through a rigorous selection process, the chosen child leads a life of seclusion and reverence until she reaches puberty, symbolizing purity and innocence. The Kumari tradition is a testament to the country's deep-rooted belief in divine intervention and the embodiment of the divine in the human form. Another fascinating tradition is the reverence for the cow, considered the national animal of Nepal. In Nepalese culture, cows are venerated as the embodiment of the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi. This respect is manifested in various ways, from the prohibition of cow slaughter to the celebration of the cow festival, known as Gai Jatra. During this festival, cows are adorned with garlands and colorful attire, and led through the streets in a procession, in a vibrant display of respect and affection. These traditions reflect more than just the historical and religious aspects of Nepalese culture. They are a testament to the enduring strength of the human spirit, the deep-rooted beliefs that have shaped the identity of the Nepalese people, and the love and respect they have for their cultural heritage. Despite the rapid pace of modernization, these ancient traditions continue to thrive, offering a glimpse into the soul of Nepal. They are woven into the everyday lives of the Nepalese people, forming an intrinsic part of their identity and are celebrated with the same fervor and enthusiasm today as they were centuries ago. These ancient traditions still hold a significant place in the hearts of the Nepalese people. They serve as a reminder of the rich cultural heritage that continues to define and shape Nepal, preserving the past while embracing the future. Nepal is known as the land of festivals, with a festival being celebrated almost every day of the year. Picture a country where joyous celebrations are a daily occurrence, a place where every sunrise might bring a new festival, each with its unique charm and significance. That's Nepal for you! Among the myriad of celebrations, three festivals stand out for their cultural richness and widespread participation, Dashain, Tihar, and Holi. Dashain, the longest and the most auspicious festival in the Nepalese annual calendar, stretches over 15 days and is a time of family reunion, exchange of gifts and blessings, and elaborate pujas. It's a festival that symbolizes the victory of good over evil, and it's celebrated with gusto, with swings set up in many parts of the country for children to enjoy. Tihar, also known as the Festival of Lights, is a five-day-long celebration that pays homage to Yama, the god of death, and worships Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth. The festival is marked by homes and streets adorned with oil lamps and marigolds, creating a spectacle of beauty and warmth. It's also a time for honoring animals such as crows, dogs, and cows, reflecting the deep respect for all life forms embedded in Nepalese culture. And then there's Holi, the festival of colors, which marks the arrival of spring. It's a boisterous celebration where people smear each other with colored powders, throw water balloons, and indulge in sweets. It's a day when social norms are relaxed, and everyone, irrespective of age or status, participates in the revelry. Holi serves as a reminder of the joy and vibrancy of life. These festivals, each unique yet interconnected, form a vibrant tapestry of Nepalese culture. They are more than just celebrations, they are a binding force that brings communities together, bridging social and economic divides. They are a time for reverence, gratitude and joy, filled with music, dance, feasts and laughter. 
These festivals are a testament to the unity and diversity of the Nepalese culture. Moving on to the savory aspects of Nepalese culture, the cuisine. Nepalese cuisine is a delightful fusion of flavors, combining the best of South Asian and Tibetan influences. It's not just about sustenance, but a reflection of the country's rich cultural heritage and diversity. One of the most beloved dishes in Nepal is dal bhat. This comforting meal is a daily staple for many Nepalese households, featuring a hearty lentil soup or dal, served with rice or bhat. It's often accompanied by a side of seasonal vegetables and a spicy pickle to awaken the taste buds. Though simple in its ingredients, the flavor profile of dal bhat is anything but, as it is seasoned with a blend of aromatic spices, including turmeric, cumin, and coriander. Then, we have momos, a type of dumpling that has become synonymous with Nepalese cuisine. These delightful parcels are typically filled with minced meat or vegetables, then steamed or fried to perfection. Whether savored as a snack or a main course, momos are a testament to the versatility of Nepalese cooking. And let's not forget gundruk, a traditional dish made from fermented leafy greens. This tangy, slightly sour dish is a winter favorite, providing a much-needed source of vitamins during the colder months. It's a perfect example of how Nepalese cuisine makes the most of locally sourced ingredients, reflecting the country's agricultural heritage. Food in Nepal is more than just a means of sustenance. It's a communal experience, a time to gather with family and friends, to share stories and laughter. Mealtimes are an integral part of Nepalese culture, a time when the pace of life slows down and the focus shifts to enjoying the company of loved ones and the delicious food on the table. Nepalese cuisine, a gastronomical adventure that truly represents the country's diversity. Nepalese culture is also beautifully expressed through its traditional clothing and art. Let's begin with the traditional attire. Men in Nepal traditionally wear a dress called Dora Suruwal. The Daura, the upper garment, is a double-breasted shirt with five knots. These knots are not just for show, they symbolize the five elements of the universe, earth, water, fire, air, and sky. The surawal, the lower garment, is a type of trouser that tapers at the ankles, adding a unique charm to the outfit. On the other hand, women traditionally wear the gunyu choli. The gunyu, a double-breasted blouse, is paired with the choli, a skirt-like garment. It's a beautiful ensemble often adorned with intricate designs and patterns. Women also complement this with a shawl-like cloth called a patuka, adding grace and elegance to the outfit. Now let's shift our focus to the art. A stunning example of Nepalese art is the Thanka art form. Thanka paintings are Tibetan Buddhist paintings on cotton or silk, often portraying Buddhist deities, scenes, or mandalas. The vibrant colors and intricate details in these paintings are truly a sight to behold. They are not just artworks but also important aids to meditational practices, providing a deeper understanding of the spiritual and philosophical concepts of Buddhism. The rich culture of Nepal is also captured in its traditional music and dance. The Nuwari people, for instance, are known for their traditional music, played on instruments like the dime and panchai baha. The dances, too, are an expression of joy, reverence, and unity. They often tell stories of their gods, their history, and their lives. So you see, whether it's the knots on a daura or the colors of a thanka painting, every detail in Nepalese clothing and art carries a tale, a belief, a piece of their identity. Through their clothing and art, the Nepalese people proudly display their cultural heritage. While Nepal holds onto its traditions, it also adapts to the modern world. This fascinating interplay of the ancient and the contemporary is most evident in the influence of Western culture on Nepalese society. The Western world has significantly impacted the music scene in Nepal. Traditional folk tunes, once the sole sound of the Himalayan air, now share the stage with modern genres. Pop, rock, and hip-hop have found their way into the Nepalese hearts, and local artists are weaving these contemporary beats into their music. Yet they do so without letting go of their roots, often incorporating traditional Nepalese instruments and melodies. The fashion industry in Nepal, too, is experiencing a similar transformation. While traditional attire such as the Dora Surawal and Gunyu Cholo remain integral to the Nepalese wardrobe, Western-style clothing is becoming increasingly common, especially among the younger generation. This blend of styles has given rise to a unique fashion statement that marries the elegance of tradition with the edginess of the modern world. The evolving Nepalese language is another testament to this cultural adaptation. While Nepali remains the national language, the use of English has been steadily increasing, particularly in urban areas and among the youth. Many Nepalese now comfortably switch between languages, often blending English with Nepali in what's become a distinctive linguistic style. 
Yet, in this embrace of the new, Nepal has not lost sight of its cultural heritage. The country remains rooted in its traditions, its people deeply respectful of their history. This respect is evident in the way they've adapted to the modern world, ensuring that every evolution, every change, carries a hint of their rich cultural past. In the end, it's this ability to change and adapt, to accept the new without discarding the old, that makes Nepalese culture so captivating. It's a living, breathing testament to the country's resilience and its people's unwavering love for their heritage. The blend of the old and the new makes Nepalese culture a fascinating study. Uh, so what have we learned about Nepalese culture? We've embarked on a journey, exploring the rich tapestry of Nepalese culture that is steeped in antiquity, yet vibrantly alive today. We've traced the threads of ancient traditions and rituals, which continue to shape and influence the lives of the Nepalese people. From the sacred rites of passage to the communal festivities, every aspect of life in Nepal is imbued with spiritual significance and cultural symbolism. We've celebrated the vibrant festivals of Nepal, each a riotous explosion of color, music, and dance. These are not merely joyous occasions, but also powerful expressions of shared beliefs and communal identity. They reflect the spirit of unity and diversity, which is a hallmark of Nepalese society. Our taste buds tantalized by the unique flavors of Nepalese cuisine, we've savored the gastronomic delights of this Himalayan country. We've learned that their food is not simply about nourishment, but also a celebration of regional diversity and seasonal bounty. We've admired the traditional clothing and art of Nepal, expressions of the country's rich artistic heritage and creative ingenuity. These are not just beautiful artifacts, but also tangible manifestations of the country's history, values, and aspirations. And finally, we've observed the modern adaptations in Nepalese culture, witnessing the dynamic interplay of tradition and modernity. We've seen how Nepal's cultural landscape is evolving, yet remaining deeply rooted in its traditional ethos. In essence, Nepalese culture is a continuous dialogue between the past and the present, the local and the global, the sacred and the secular. It is an intricate tapestry of diverse threads, each contributing to a vibrant dynamic whole. It is a culture that embraces change, yet cherishes its traditions. It is a culture that respects its roots, yet reaches out to the world. As we have seen, Nepalese culture is a vibrant tapestry, woven with threads of tradition, unity, diversity, and adaptation. 